Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I have got guest crafter Finley again. We've made already three videos today. Yeah. Two. No, three. Oh, well, this will be the third one, I think. Yeah, yeah. And we might even get a fourth one in as well. Um, yeah. So what are we doing today? Are you going to tell everybody? Um, or what are we doing this time? We're making a sunset. Yes. That's completely your idea. I haven't given it any forethought at all. Um, it's a bit messy, and we were thinking right? of using acrylic paints if we get time we might do another one we've got these um, acrylic paints to try out and some little canvases and things but then we got some gorgeous happy mail from Zoe and it included some of Zoe's Zoe's been playing with distress inks some of her beautiful backgrounds um, the third one I think I think that's probably our favourite, isn't it? I don't yeah. know. I think they're all my favourite. So Finley's yep. now decided he quite fancy having a go at something like that. So we're going to try distress inks to make our sunset instead. Are, they, are these distress and things, Blair? Yes, all of those. Yep, they were all different kinds of distress inks. It's like a. Oh, know, that all looks funny colour. This one kind of looks like a peach colour or something. Yeah, it's called ripe persimmon or persimmon. Yeah. Which is a kind of fruit. And then this is one is like an orange. Yeah, a spiced Do... marmalade. Yeah. I love their names. Like this one. Worn lipstick. <laughs> Got a lot of colours to play with, haven't we? Yeah. A lot of brushes to use. And this is a Distress Oxide. It's a slightly different one. A bit more opaque. Black soot. Hickory smoke. So we've got some blacks and greys for the dark mountains that you want in the front. Mm. We've got some blues for the this one. darker part of the sky. Mm. That was actually called stormy sky. Yeah. Faded jeans. A blueprint sketch. That's one of my favourite blues. That. So we've got all those lovely warm orangey, pinky oh, yeah, colours. This one. Have you not? I haven't said that one, have we? Yeah, Abandoned yeah. Coral. And then this one. And then what was that one? Worn Lipstick. I think you've already shown yeah, that you're... one. Yeah, this one. Third and then one. have I got a picked raspberry somewhere? That's one of my favourite pinks. Like this one, I think. Oh, no, I've got two worn lipstick. I didn't even know. Oh, one is oxide and one is normal. Yeah, I don't know if we have done this one yet. Oh, no, that's Seedless Preserves. And there's another purple there I don't think we've done. I think we've done this purple. Where's picked raspberry? I knew, I knew I'd have it somewhere. And this yellow. <laughs> so we've got two yellows. I like this little one. It's like sometimes the little ones are nicer yeah. going into the stencils. And what else have we got? We've chosen this stencil, haven't we? When did you last use this one? It feels so soft. Uh, not very long ago, a couple of days, and it will still give take ink off. So just when you do that, that's fine. So but don't don't then put it on your paper because you'll get fingerprints on your paper. No, it does feel good. lovely, doesn't it? They're so, so soft. Hold it up to the camera in case anybody hasn't seen it before. They're like really densely packed, very, very soft bristles. If you buy them as cosmetic ones, they're cheaper than if you buy them as craft brushes. Then we've got this batch of stencils I got really cheap from Timu. So Finley's chosen this one because it looks a bit like a sun, doesn't it? Yeah. And we've got to be really careful not to get on straight edges because we don't want straight edges on here we want so should we move that if we move that off should the paper should we use like tape bit? good idea yeah let's put some tape on it yeah what we could do is tape it down all the way around so we get that tape peel at the end which we quite like don't we yeah should we do that i wonder if we can at some point do a titanic picture <laughs> oh god <laughs> i think that's going to be for next time yeah we've discovered today finley has developed an obsession with titanic, titanic and he knows all about you know stuff about it i'd never yeah. heard for example, I didn't know there were two sister ships. Britannic and the Olympic. Yeah, and the Olympic survived yeah. to fight in the war. Yeah, and then in World War One, and then after the World War One, it got scrapped. Yeah, and so it like had a, a good life, sort of. Yeah, and then in a, and then in a, like a restaurant, I think you can see what the like dining room looked like. Yeah, so that, that's the kind of detail that fascinates me. I always want to know all that stuff. And then we had a look while we were having our lunch, we had a watch of a kind of 3D reconstruction. Yeah. All cut through all the different layers, didn't yeah. we? Not layers, what are they called? Um, decks. Decks. Have I got that straight-ish? 
the back one was like something poop. Poop dick. Yeah, yeah the poop dick. <laughs> they said that came from a Latin word, poopis or something, didn't they? It means yeah. something, means back, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. it means something like I can't that. We could take the stencil down as well, couldn't we, yeah. while we're working on it? Should we do that? Do you want to put those couple of bits that are there, put them... Wait, I don't, wait this is the same of this. On here, a minute. So, what should I do with this? Just put like one there and one there, and I'll put one down here. Just to keep them still while we're working on it. So we need to think about... Uh, this bit's not really going on it. Uh, what about if you put it... Try putting it there, across there. It's like... Oh, do you want a new bit? Yes. Yeah, you want it to be all the warm colours in the middle yeah. coming out towards the cooler colours, yeah? Yeah. So if we start with... What do you think, yellow or orange? Yeah, I'll say yellow because that's a light colour. Yeah, so if then we start orange. yellow in the middle... Yep. And then orange, and then go into the pink, like that's orange as well, kind of, and then go into yeah. the pinks, and from the pinks into the purple, and the purple into the blue. Yeah. And that will go, that will make a nice... And then we do the mountains. And then we do the mountains. And we might want some more dark around the edges and stuff. We'll see yeah. how that, like we'll see how we feel the edge is like, blacky or something. Yeah. I would say like that colour. Yes. Yeah. I have got some darker black if we need it as well. Yeah. Okay, do you want to start with the yellow? Do you want me to show you how to do it, or do you think, do you feel confident? I think to... you should show me. Okay. But do you just press down on it? Yeah, you sort of, but you don't have to press too hard. You're better off to press lightly and then just keep oh, yeah. going and going. See, See there's it. already there's some left on there from last time. Rather than, but you don't need to press too hard. Do you think this darker one first, or this? Which one? I think the lightest. The one. lightest first, okay. Can I um, press it on it? Yep, yeah, so just like go across like that. And that should pick up enough ink. Enough? Yeah. Have a go now, just like see how it feels. It's gonna look amazing when you lift that up. You might want to press down a little bit more to make sure it's going into the um holes. into the holes, yeah. And what we could do is very carefully pick this up and have a peek and put it back down again just to see how it's coming out. Might need a little help at some point. I think you're doing pretty good. Let's have a look. Let's, let's just lift this up and just have a little check. Oh. <laughs> and we could have done an all over colour first and then stenciled on top if we wanted. Yeah. In fact, we still could do. And then you can fade it out, and then you could start going into the next yellow now, couldn't you? I'm just going to use a um, smaller one, because it's a little smaller. It'll be a little hard to get it on. OK. I'm really getting in. Can you help? I would say, rather than scrub like that, look, watch this, look. If you go, rather than go, oh, I like that, because you'll, you'll ruin the brush and it won't really go in properly. If you just go in each area, just go... See, I'm not pressing down very hard. But I'm just doing little tiny circles and, and I'm making sure I'm covering all the area. And I'm just blending back up into the other colour a little bit and blending it out. Come in and blend it out like that. So you don't have to scrub away too hard, but you do need to make sure you get into those little little areas, you know. And it doesn't all have to be the same all the way around. It won't just look more interesting if, if it's not. That looks like an amazing sun already to me. Okay. You're a natural. Do you think done? Yeah. I think you should choose your next. Choose your next. But you're going into an orange now. So which orange do you? I, I think probably Big. that one. What do you think? That one, then that one, then that one. Because that's more yeah. towards pink. Yeah. And then yeah. Oh, I like how that looks. Yeah, I do. A lot. I think it's going to look amazing when we lift it up. That reminds me of a little bit tie dye. <laughs> yeah, tie dye. Like a tie dye pattern, isn't it? Looks like tie dye, guys. Tie dye dye. You put the next colour on it. <laughs> another, another fun thing with these inks is after you've done it all, you can like flick water on it and it does all funny, has all funny effects. It's really nice. I think the 
top bit won't be as bright because it'll be stuff. Yeah. Top bit will be around about more on space. Yeah, that's true. But more going into the night sky, won't it? Yeah, so not going to do... Done. Yeah, I think that's good. Right, next the orange, please. <laughs> Gets bigger. Yeah. So now I need to do all the way down here. Yeah, yeah. And by the time you come out to these, like, oh, purples... Oh, and... look at that. Why? So this is, what's this, white persimmon? Yeah. The time you get to the these rings, it will be just the, you know, the blues and purples will just be over here. They won't be over there at all, will they? Yeah. You won't have room for them. You can you, you can like turn these upside down and use them straight on the paper, but if you're stenciling, it's easier to use a brush. I like brushes. Mm. Wait, does your friend? They're lovely brushes. Does that to use girl those. have the the uses these brushes for them? Zoe that sent me those backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about Zoe Hartist. Check out Zoe Hartist if you haven't already. See what she's doing with just tracing. Now I've pulled her into another rabbit hole. We could have a little peek at what this is looking like, if you like, so that we I'm can... I'm not really ready. You sure? Sure. It might change how you do things. You might think, oh, I want it a bit darker or... Okay. Let's have a little peek. Oh. <gasps> I love that. Whoa, that looks amazing. I think, do you think I'm finished this? This colour? Yeah, I reckon so. Because you've got plenty of other colours to fit in. So yeah, now it's you? more on like a pink now side. Now we're going to, this is the next, this is go, getting a lot more pink really. And then you've got really pink coming up. Yeah. This one's somewhere between pink and orange, so I would just go with that. And then if it mixes with the one you've already done, it's not going to matter, is it? I think this is just going to look amazing. Be good if you could put it on a T-shirt. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to wear it, but I would. Like an art Ooh, t look at that colour. Yeah. I need a rest of my arms now. Do you want me to do a bit for you? Um, I'll just do this one, using, and then you do it one. You're using your do... left hand and your right hand a bit. Do you use Do you use both a little bit? Yeah. It's good to be able to use both, especially when you're doing art. I'm going to leave. I'm like a bit for... I'm, the next one, so I don't think I'll have the, enough room Oops. for all of the co other colours. No, I don't think you will, will you? Yeah, I mean, we could choose now. I think the last one should just be, like, purple. Why, or why, why don't we just you do, do that one bit? real pinky one, yeah. but go right, go into this a little bit. Yeah, I want to use that big um. You could go, one. if you use that. This one? That's orange. Don't, yeah, that'll be... Use this one, do a little bit over here. And a bit into here, just to merge it in, and then we go into the purple, and then we've just about got room for the blue. But I would say don't spread it out any further. Go, just go into just there a little bit. Just do one line. Yeah. After this one, it'll be like, just move on to the blue. Yeah. Uh, well, do a little bit of this, I would say, put a little bit of this uh, purple now there. Okay. And then it'll just move into the blue. Now. So, should I use this again? Maybe a little bit more down here where it'd be darker. I don't know. Um, need to mix it a little bit. Is don't mix purple with orange though, because yeah. that'll start to look muddy and nasty, and it'll spoil your beautiful, vibrant colours that you've got going on. Done. Brilliant. That looks really good to me. So I reckon you've only got room for one blue. This is the nicest, brightest blue. So should I use um, the big blue? Yeah. This. Now, what you've got to be careful of here is this. You yeah. don't want to be going over that. So I reckon we you should... Let's tape this off. Because if you now go over and get a big square blue line, that would be a shame. And I would say just fade it away there towards the edge. Just let it fade away so there's no harsh line. Oh, look, it mixes lovely with that purple, doesn't it? So I reckon this bit down here should be like that one of them colours. Yeah. So I think that'll be done, that blue. So we've got black soot and we've got, this is hickory smoke, so it might be grey, I'm not sure. It's maybe a bit too warm of a grey for what you want. Yeah. Mm. Maybe try the black soot instead. Okay, that's a lot better. Yeah. I we can always add more done. of that later if we want to, because we've got to do something here as well. Yeah, I'll say like that bit's done. Yeah. So is it time to take the stems off then? Yeah. And there's something, you know we've now got all this ink all over the stencil. Yeah. There's something else you can do with that, which I'm going to try in a minute, which might or might not work. Okay, let's carefully take this off. Save this tape because I can use it again. This bit? Yeah, go on. Satisfying. Satisfying. Okay, 
satisfying. <laughs> and then pass me the stencil very carefully because I want to try something. <gasps> wow, That's look at wonderful. that. Oh, I want a t shirt like that, don't you? Yeah. Oh. And if, if we can't a decide what we're going to do around the edges here, we could cut it down to that shape anyway. Yeah, It'd be fine. Masterpiece. That is just that we don't even need to do anything else. <laughs> right. Oh, now that bit looks cool. So now cool. I'm thinking there's still some ink on there. So I'm going to try something. So if I maybe you just press because this is water reactive, this ink, so it will react again with water even after it's dry. So because I spritzed it with a bit of water, well, I'm hoping oh, I can press this down. I don't want to mess up your painting though. I'm hoping I can get some kind of an impression on it. But if I don't, it doesn't matter. I'll just use the other side of the paper. But I might get something interesting. Oh, I saw a bit of it. Did you? Did it work? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, pretty. Dun, dun. This bit didn't come out. I want good? that to be like blue tacked somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> just a like couple blue, of balls with. Like blue tack up there. So, are you happy with it with these white lines in between? Because you yes. could, if you wanted to, I'm not going to do it, you could go over this. Yeah. with more ink and it wouldn't take out those patterns altogether you'd still see them but you wouldn't have the white spaces in between I so like, you could I, do I that. like the white spaces you like the white spaces that's what good. Should we do it does look line? very effective well we could try we could either cut it down cut it yeah you now are you still wanting to do mountains and stuff or are you now thinking you like this so much you want to leave it like that i want to leave it like that <laughs> i know i'm thinking that as well <laughs> So we'll have to we'll cut it down before we do anything else. Do you want to do anything else around the edges? You don't want to do the. It's just a really nice print like that, isn't it? It is nice. Yeah. What what would I do around the edges? So. Mm, well, you were talking about maybe doing dark around the edges or something. No. No. I no. Like you just you just bright. don't want to ruin it with anything now, do you? Yeah, I want it bright. Yeah, I know what you My mean. My sister I like will bright. like this. My sister will. She will, won't she? Yeah, she'll probably want to do one tomorrow now, won't she? Tie dye dye dye. We've, we've been, only been going for about 25 minutes. So we will still have enough time. We could still do the painted one on the canvas if you want. Yes. Or the scratchy thing. Well, which one do you more want to do? I don't mind because I can do any of them anytime. I want to do you choose that. what you want. I want to do um. Canvas. The canvas thing. Yeah. yeah, it won't take that long. I want to do a, a different type of one of this. So do you still want to use stencils? Um, or do you just want to do another a sunset but in a different way? I want to do I want to do I want to use the same thing I used to do that, but in a different print. You can't you won't be able to use the inks on the canvas. Because they won't really oh, take yeah. very well on there. That's the only thing. Just do another one of these ones on this type of paper? Yeah. Definitely. If that's what you're enjoying doing, we should go for it. And we need to now cut it down. It does look amazing. We we'll use my guillotine to do that. It's a guillotine. Um, just have a white border all around it, yeah? Yep. That is rather beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I can't wait to do a different print yeah. of this. That's cool. I like watching it all. It basically that's looks like it all splashed everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the beginning of a nice, a nice print, actually. Yeah. I mean, what we could do is do some more inking over the top of this and then stencil over the top again. Yeah. Because that looks really nice too. And then we could have a go at splashing water on it because that's nice, the inks, when you splash the water. people who's going to be watching this, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't look that good on camera. No, they never. it never, it's frustrating. It never looks as... Good. Striking. Yeah. Well, on the camera but in real life it looks wonderful yeah. yeah it just looks like a mess there doesn't it do you know what i'm tempted to do is to work a bit more on this yeah do the same as you were doing but without the stencil use the same colors blend all the colors out till we've covered the whole thing with color we could do both work on it and then pick a different stencil for me and then you can work on it with a different stencil and we can try splatting with some water and stuff i want it to stay like this I don't you want to leave this one like this okay. yeah so what are you going to do with these? Stick them up in your room? Yeah. I think Macy will like that other leopard. If if this one looks good, I'll probably let Macy have that leopardy print one. And then that. That's kind of you. 
then I might. She have would like to get it. One. Yeah. What if this one doesn't look good? She can go without. <laughs> Me and Maisie can um, share it. Yeah. You can both look at it, can't you? What? Well, got a green and a blue as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to need all the colours for the rainbow, aren't we? Yeah. So we've got to bear in Very mind. Free, Richard, oh, your goes battling in, but yeah, we 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 need to. Each colour needs to be only about. So do you want the colours going like straight across that way or more down that way? What do you think? Um, I wonder. Or outwards. <laughs> like outwards because there is like a little crack bit where it's main crack so it's red in there what we should no use. i've looked at the red oh. situation and these are so you've got to either pick this deep pink or something like that to stand in for the red yeah okay or you could just go with the i do this sometimes with rainbows i just go with the pink instead go with that instead or mix the two together yeah that's interesting, some of the orange that's already on that brush is coming out there, isn't it? That's good, because it will blend into the yeah, it looks cool. orange. Yeah. This one would not look as good though, I don't think. Oh, I think you might be surprised. Really? Do you like art a lot? Yeah, I do it every day. Wait, so when you were a kid, yeah, you really wanted to be an artist? Well... I always wanted to do art, but I don't think I thought an artist was a thing you could be to earn a living, you know? Yeah. Cool, oh, it's going to look good, that is. I can feel it. When did you start making videos? Um, I did some really early on ones back in like something like 2010. Mm. But they weren't very good and I didn't do them very often. Just the odd one or two. And I only started doing them properly when I retired really, mm. which was yeah. two or three years ago. Yeah. Probably like sort of lockdown time I, I think really started. It, so when you, were, um, when you worked, you yeah. didn't do that as much stuff you do now no definitely not no okay the, the bad one. colors are amazing aren't they it's just my kind of colors well it's all the colors really isn't it <laughs> the colors you like more yeah after i've I done this mace will probably want to do it again tomorrow she might yeah i don't mind doing it again don't know if i need to film it again though oh look at that Blend a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit up here. Dun, Not dun, room dun, for dun. much, is there? But dun, dun. just a little bit at the edges. Yeah, Should we do the big reveal then? I've got all these annoying bits up here to do. Satisfying. Satisfying. And I'll hold the stencil down so you don't accidentally spoil the surprise for yourself. <laughs> we couldn't do this in a more awkward way if we tried, mm. could we? <laughs> and now, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can't. Oh. Oh, you do it, you need to do it. <gasps> I'm keeping that one. Wow. This one's my one. That looks amazing, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, you must be yeah. well chuffed with that. Macy's cool. cute. I'm going to let Macy have that leopard print one and then I'm going to have this one. Yeah. They're both lovely. They're both lovely. Yeah, this one is not my favourite anymore. No. <laughs> is that because of the colours or the pattern? What the colours. Yeah. Makes the, it. The colours are fab. You ought to sign it, really. Yeah. We could trim it down a little bit, and I could put, I could mount it on a piece of black. Yeah, I want this bit to get um, trimmed. If I first. trim it a little bit down to like that, yeah. and then I could put it on a piece of black for you, so it's got like a black edging. Yeah. That would set it off, wouldn't it? We'll do that. Yeah. Okay, go. you've got to come and say goodbye. It's rude otherwise. Bye. Oh, bye. bye. I think Finley enjoyed making his uh, beautiful 
that is so beautiful I'm really pl really pleased with that and we're gonna let Macy have that one that's fantastic as well actually I really love it I'd wear either of them on a t-shirt or I'd stick them on the wall make a nice piece of art yeah yeah right okay thank you very much everybody Bye. thanks for watching this again we'll see you again soon Bye.